thanks for joining Living on the Cheap and trying to figure it out. Today we're going to talk about reconciling your cash envelopes. How do I do it and how do you do it? Let me know down below. Talk to you soon. What do I say? Just keep watching. Hi, thanks for joining Living on the Cheap and trying to figure it out. Today I'm going to show you how I reconcile stuff. Um, most of my budget line when I do my Excel budget and it is a form from Gail Vazit Oxlade and I will try to link the video I've done about that. Anyhow, um, I've edited it so many times over the years. I am pretty good on monthly bills. So like the electrical, the rent, the hydro, phone bills, all of that is very good. I'm working on paying off our credit cards, so that money is very good because it's allotted for that. But then it's when I come to my cash. I'm okay with the cash itself. I don't use up all the cash. Well, I do use up all the cash. I don't overspend the cash. So I don't use up all the cash and then go to credit card or use my debit card or anything like that. So that's good. But what I do have a problem with is in the last month, well, in the month of March, I didn't really stick with what the cash amount was supposed to be for when. So what I'm going to do now is actually go over and um, show you what I'm supposed to be doing and when I'm doing really well, what I follow. And this is called, um, what is this called? Sorry, Good Budget. And the website is goodbudget.com. And I'm just going to go over and show you what I do. These are my envelopes here on the side. And I'm going to actually redo some of them because some of them have been changed over the months. Um, especially after Christmas and some of these are some of the last payments I've done um, in the last couple of days or week what I love about this program is you can go into reports and I'm going to just show you real quickly what I've done you can go by envelope now this is an app on your phone as well that you can use and I totally recommend it. it's just absolutely awesome but um, here's my entertainment so if I went by envelope and then I could go over to the next envelope but that's not actually the report I enjoy. I actually like to go by the month. And you can see that I've only spent the last... Yeah, there we go. Hmm. So from December to May, March, not May, March, uh, you can see that I did no recording at all in February. I didn't record a single uh, uh, transaction. January, I did a little bit. Um, March hopped right back up, but it's not quite as high as my December. December, I did excellently. And for some reason, I think I only have $400. I know, well, maybe back then. Now, in March, I have $600 in my cash envelopes. So I actually have to go through and change my envelopes. So uh, get to my home page. And this is the free. As you can see, it keeps adding up, trying to get me to update. I don't care to update because this works perfectly for what I do. Um, I absolutely love it. So let's go to add or edit. And let's see, transportation is 138.46. And you're like, what's with the cents? Well, because it's every two weeks. So um, actually, that's changed to 180 now. Food has been uh, 260. Entertainment and restaurants. So we go up to restaurants once a month. Oops. Please enter. Oh, huh, too many zeros up there. Yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Um, so restaurants is 120 a month divided by two, oops, 120 a month divided by two makes it 60 plus the 40 for restaurants. So 60 plus 20 would be 80. Sorry, I'm tired. Uh, hair and gifts is not $60. I believe it's down to 40. So we're going to just change that. Allowance, I believe it's down to 15. Oh boy, i got to delete all these numbers. 15. Entertainment for Linda's 20, yes. David, 20, yes. Helena, 20, yes. Lauren, no. She's actually, we can actually get rid of that whole line. And you're like, why? Well, she works, so she gives herself her own fun money. She no longer comes to me for that. I do have um, a bank account where I transfer money every time we get paid into so that we could pay for her education. 
Um, that's it. We can add more envelopes. I believe with your uh, the free app, you get 10 envelopes max. So as you can see here, what I've done is I divided up my entertainment into a bunch of different things, but I do have entertainment restaurants. So, you know, if you go to someone's house and you want to buy a bottle of wine or something or dessert, <clears throat> we have money for that as well as restaurants. Uh, food does not include eating out. That's our grocery budget line. Actually, that should say groceries. Let's edit that. <clears throat> so that it makes more sense. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Transportation. Uh, we have a sinking fund. That's why it's so much. It's actually only about um, $60 every three weeks. Two to three weeks, depending on how much driving I do or my daughter does. But it's not that expensive. Thing is, though, um, we have a bit of a sinking fund in there. So you take out the 60 you have how much is left? 40 40 no another 60 so that 60 is a sinking fund for um any repairs oil changes anything like that that might come up so it does add up sometimes though i do notice i spend instead of 60 dollars um every three weeks it's 60 dollars every two weeks or one and a half it just depends how much i'm going into downtown um from here and yeah so that's what that is so then i'm going to save my changes 635 that's exactly where i want to be so I pull out 635 every payday. My next one will be the 24th, which is correct. We're still going with what we have. Now, if you look here, you'll see these little dashes. See this dash? That's where I'm supposed to be as of today on this budget line. So as the weeks, when the week starts or the two week period, you can uh, change how often. And I do it every two weeks because that's when we get paid and that's when I pull up the cash. You can actually have that, that tab will start up here. And as every day passes, it goes down, down, down until it's near the end. So we get paid Friday. So that's why all of this is very close to the end. This is not the most accurate because really this is only one week of spending. Um, as you can see, David overspent his allowance. Um, it, it was a, just a really bad toss up. So that's what I do um, to kind of, how do you say, reconcile my... Uh, budget. I am waiting for my husband to come back because I hate Excel and we have so many uh, formulas in it that I need to get a new row to do our actuals of what happened. So not only will I have the cash included, but I will also have, um, as well as the cash, I will have our monthly payments. So I can say that I paid this much for hydro, I paid this much for rent and everything and I uh, get that in there. And once I get that fixed, I may show that to you guys and I hope I do. So I hope you enjoy the video. We'll talk to you soon. Well, thank you for joining Living on the Cheap and Trying to Figure It Out. Don't forget to subscribe here and watch this next video. Talk to you real soon. Bye.